Welcome back to Fearless Fairy Spire. So as you probably saw by the title of the video, this is going to be our first blacksmithing tool haul. So these are not my personal tools that I bought. Um, I am going to be repaying my dad for one of these, which you'll soon see which one. But I am going to repay him for one of these. But these are kind of a shared um, hammer collection by all of us. So that's what we got hammers. I, I spilled the beans already, but that's what they are. We got these from Pay Tool Co. Um, the, I know the, we got them online, and they ship relatively quickly, but I know they do have an in-store. I have no idea where their in-store store is, but um, or like their concrete building is, but um, besides that, we ordered these from them. Really nice people there. Um, it, They'll take care of you. They had some problems with them being out of stock on some of the hammers, and they made exceptions and, you know, worked it out with us, so. All I can say is great things about them. I'll leave a link in the description to their website, so go check them out if you need good blacksmithing tools and quality blacksmithing tools. Not necessarily the cheapest on the market, not necessarily the most expensive on the market, but they are good quality tools and a good run, family-run company. But to start off this collection, we have this um, Dutch style 3.3 pound sledgehammer or 1500 gram sledgehammer. Um, you're go quickly before I go over this, you're going to see some of the ha hammers have really like a mirror polish um, dressed heads on them. I did that personally. Um, these do not come dressed um, from the factory or from as you buy them. So don't be like, see these like, oh, they come, they come dressed and everything. Heck, yeah, I'm going to buy those. Yeah, they do not come dressed. I'm sorry to say that, but it's not too hard to dress them. Um, all I use is a sanding wheel. I think it's like 200 grit, maybe 150 grit um, sanding, like a belt sander. And I use the slack end. Um, to get it polished up enough and then I hit it on a buffing wheel but more on that later but back to the sledgehammer this is a Dutch pattern as you can see it's a square head with these kind of fullers in this fullering kind of going in really nice handle shape to it and nice size handle this actually fits my hand quite well and it actually my dad you know has quite a bit larger hands than me um, says he really likes the feel of these handles as well because a lot of times when I handle my hammer say like my rounding hammer He doesn't really like the feel of them, but I really like the feel of my rounding hammer But we can both agree on these handles. So pretty good done um, Again, that's the surface finish that they come with we keep this I kept this one rough just because we're going to be using this for, you know, striking punches. So, kind of that rough head keeps, you know, a little bit more friction. So, it's not, you know, sliding off as easily. And also, when I um, finish them, they get a little round. Not much, but just a little bit more round. And we just kind of want to keep this one flat. So, there you go. 1,500 grain. Um... I could tell you the handle length on this um coming from the bottom of the head up it is just at 11 just above 11 inches i think it's 11 and an eighth inch and then coming from the the bottom of, or the top of the head it is just about yep exactly nine and a half inches so that's that hammer. Now going to the next one, and that was a Picard. Second hammer that we got. Um, I believe that Picard was about $30, so pretty reasonably priced. This next one is a petting house, or a petting house, depending on how you want to say it. Um, there you go. That's your name. Um, this is, as you probably could have already talked, um, t as you could already see, um, by the first glance, if you know your hammers, this is a French pattern cross peen 
hammer. So why we got this one is number one, we don't, haven't had a French style. So, you know, we try it, decided to try one out. Another 1500 grain hammer. All these that I'm going to be showing you, besides my rounding hammer and this punch, are 1500 um, grain. Gram, not green, gram. We're not talking gunpowder, sorry. 1500 gram um, hammer heads. The handle on this one, from the top of the head to the end of the handles, 15, and from the bottom of the head here to the end of the handles, 13 inches. Another one, um, the handle is, it's not my personal favorite. My dad really likes the actual feel of this handle. I like a, a thicker around here kind of handle so I don't know I'm going to use it it's not it's not uncomfortable but it's just not my favorite in the world and I got a nice mirror finish as you can see I'm propped up on a coca-cola can but nice mirror finish on there um and what I really like about this handle I mean this hammer and why I suggested it to my dad is because see how it's that peen is kind of a square peen usually when you go to like a home depot or say lowe's or say ace hardware or so any hardware store that you can really think of that has you know your normal selection of hammers that you'd find at like a big box store when you see the cross bean hammers like the the engineer's style or the machinist style they have a really pointy um you know, they're still rounded, but quite a pointy cross peen on there. And what is really nice about that? Well, let me go over first the, what the purpose of the cross peen is so I can make more sense. The purpose of the cross peen is when you strike with a hammer face, think about it as punching a mound of cookie dough or just any kind of dough to fit your matter. And when you punch it, it kind of spreads out all in a circular kind of way while if you were to say only push your finger across it kind of squishes away from your finger that's basically what the peen is doing it is say you're trying to forge out a blade and you're trying to get a little longer you can use the peen to get it longer without making it much wider so it's more of a directional um way to force material and the flatter peen actually does it better um, force without cutting in and the more sharp um, peens like to cut into your metal more than it likes to actually move your metal or any material that you're forging it could be copper it could be brass it could be aluminum it could be titanium it could be tungsten I don't know whatever you to choose to forge but that's basically the basics of the peen and why you, we kind of like a flatter peen or I've heard that a flatter peen works better for that Next one here is another Picard um, hammer here. This one, if you cannot already tell, if you know your hammer types, is a Swedish style cross peen. Um, handle length on this from top of the head to the bottom 15, from bottom of head to um, is 13. So same as that of the French pattern um cross peen this one um nice shiny head same again 1500 grams pre 3.3 is what i believe it is don't hold me to it if you want me to i can pull out my computer and search it up and i'm doing this for you guys because i don't want to be telling lies 15 100 G to LB. And it is 3.3 pounds. Perfect. I actually know what I'm talking about. So, 3.3 pounds on all these that I've showed you yet. And, like I said, nice mirror finish on there. Um, This one has more of a domed head than that French style. Um, helps just work metal better. More pointy peen, so you can use this on more 
kind of fine tuning of material and just you know we have we don't have a Swedish style but now we do so we're trying one out last and final um, hammer that I'm going to show you is the one I wanted to get so this is a German style cross peen um my dad likes the longer heads and this is a Picard again this is another Picard um, hammer we got one petting house and three Picard brand but my dad likes the longer like to give you size comparison tape um, putting the tape up to this puts it roughly at six and an eighth inches long from um, hammer end to peen end um, while my German style is stubby and such that it is only five inches, five and an eighth inches from, from hammer face to your peen. Um, I like these because they're more stubby. He likes the longer hammer. I like shorter hammer because, I don't know, it feels closer to my hand so I know where I'm striking and that's why I'm, that's why I like it. And I'm wiping the oils off of it so I can see the nice shiny face. But I'm off with the Swedish. So another 1,500 grams, so 3.3 pound um, German style cross peen hammer. This looks kind of similar to the style that you may see at like a, say, your Home Depot, you know, hardware your average hardware store and this one I got really nice and shiny this was about $60 I think and it may be in like $55 but right around there I like this style head because if you look at the peen it is a really low radius um peen on there so it really works to move material this is what i like about this hammer is that peen there and i like the big striking face and it's nice and kind of domed it's not like a rounding hammer dome like you know that's a rounding hammer dome that's just a good hammer face dome so Again, nice handle, um, and also I like the shorter handle because I do not like the super long handles because you seem, when you're like working up close on something and you're kind of trying to get, you know, it's kind of hard to explain because you have to know what you're doing. Well, it's not that you have to know what you're doing, but you kind of have to be sitting there in the moment to really feel what you're kind of trying to do and trying to kind of pull the hammer back and always feel like a pull the end of the hammer handle into the anvil and it ends up taking a chip out of it and then you have a chipped end of your hammer handle so then when you're trying to like really go out a piece of steel it's just I think you're getting my gist of what I'm trying to go at but so um 12 inch handle from top of head 10 inch handle from bottom of head I don't think there's much more I need to tell this is the hammer I've been wanting for a little while. So now I've kind of got, we've kind of got a good collection of different style hammers. So, and I also have my good trusty um, two and a half pound rounding hammer that I got nice and shiny as well. So I hope you enjoyed this tool haul and a long, long explanation for each hammer. I hope I didn't bore you guys too much, and everyone that's still watching here, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video. If you have any questions or any comments, throw them down in the comment box. If you want to see us forging with these, then hit that subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified when we upload a new video or go live. So thanks so much for watching. See you all in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Bye-bye.